make the lid or the cap here. So what I will do now is that I will cut through the surface here and that could be done in many different ways. I will actually take a laser beam from a top view here and just cut around this area here. Let's have a quick look at the image here. So, okay, something like that maybe. So I go for uh, a flat direction here and we could turn off the section view and we would like to make a sketch. So it's always a sketch. So I go for a top plane here and use that for a sketch. So I click sketch tab and sketch. And then we could make the sketch and then we could turn on the laser beam. But you could turn on the laser beam instantly. So if I go for feature, and when I say laser, it means cut. So every time it says cut, it means laser beam. So extruded cut. And now, because we had the plane already selected, it will go into sketch mode automatically because we need a, we need a sketch. That's how it is in SOLIDWORKS. I like to have a circular. So I click in the middle and then I go out. So maybe something like that. And then I would like this to be a laser beam uh, with, with a certain thickness here. And we could make a second circle and that would work absolutely fine. Or we could take uh, an opportunity to have this numerically uh, keyed in in next step. So I will, I will just go for that circle. And of course, again, if you like to have a certain dimension, you could put in a dimension here. So maybe 75 millimeter. We're done with the sketch. So I go out from the sketch. And now SOLIDWORKS knows that we would like to make a laser beam. So it has already given us a preview here, but it's in the wrong direction. We would like to laser beam up here. We don't want the laser beam to go through the bottom here. So actually we would like to start a little bit higher up. And we started on this plane here. So maybe we should have made the sketch on a plane a little bit higher up, but that could be solved. There is uh, a lot of possibility here to tweak the setting. So if you look at from, we could say instead of from sketch plane, we could say from an offset. So if I choose an offset here, I could say start the laser beam at this point and go up. And you could go up in a blind, just a certain distance, or you could say just through everything, through all. So you just go through everything as far as it could. I will use something called thin feature. So if I click on thin feature, I could say that I would like to have a certain thickness here. So if I say maybe two millimeter, then we'll, oh, maybe it's a little bit too much. 1.5 millimeter. And then I accept this. So we go out from the cut extrude and it says, hey, what kind of bodies would you like to keep? Yeah, we would like to keep everything here. So now again, we have in the folder, solid bodies folder, we have two pieces. And now we can make a little hinge here so we could open and close this one. Um, so what I will do here is just a simple hinge with a cylinder here. So I will, I will make some extrusion, just a cylindrical extrusion here. And I will go for from the middle. So I search for the plane and it will be the right plane. And I could instantly go for feature extruded boss base. Look at the corner. We're inside a sketch and we are actually working flat here on that uh, sketch so let's look in that direction and it makes it easier to make a, a hinge so i will just make a little, uh, circle here that will be our hinge so now in space we have a circle i accept this one and now it will start 
to make from the middle and out a little uh, boss extrusion and it would like to merge and in this case it means that it will glue itself to that one and that one but I don't want that because if you glue these together again you can't open and close this we need to have two bodies um, so I will I will change this I, I have two possibilities here I could turn off March, and then we could do the combine later on but we could also have it march and say that i would like not it out to select but i would like to tell it what to weld what to march with so in this case i would like this piece here to be welded with the with the cap so i click on this one so these two will be one entity one body and not connected at all with the main body. Okay, I'll say okay to that. So if you now look at that, that is one piece and this is another piece. Uh, but I will take this side here and I would like to make another one. So I will, I will actually borrow that sketch again. So under the last can call this hinge hinge uh, cap and for that piece there we use a sketch so if I activate that sketch and say make an extruded boss base and in the other direction so we could flip the direction here we could just grab this arrow here and we could go 10 millimeter again. So a key and 10 millimeter. And I do the same thing again, merge, but not without select. I turn that off. Otherwise, it will these will be glued together. Now I will glue or weld this to the main body. Okay, so I say accept that. So now I have like a hinge here. So there is two pieces here. Uh, one that is connected to that and one that is connected to that and there is two different bodies here so we could actually open and close this piece here right now so let's do that so we go for the top part here and we could also take the opportunity here to rename this so let's uh, open this up a little bit just for fun and if you like to move a body you search for insert feature and here you just try to find something called move and it should say rotate but it you have rotate as well move copy and rotate so in this case we would like to choose to rotate and here we have a window that we could activate and tell it what to rotate around so what we actually would like to do here is to rotate around this position here maybe we could use something called temporary axis so i go for view hide show temporary axis and this is a way of showing axis that is usually not visible but if I do that, we could actually have that axis, everything that is revolving or rotating has an axis. So now we've got an axis here. And now if I click on this, we could open up the lid here. So if I just accept to that. And they are super irritating, so we turn off the visibility of these temporary axes again. 